Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razavi, and today I want to talk about Undead Unluck. It's a very fun manga, I highly recommend it. Uh, by the way, last time we talked about Blue Period, I'll leave a link in the pinned comment and also in the description so you can watch that video too if you would like to. Do me a favor and do that after this video though, because this video is about Undead Unluck, so unless you already are reading it, I would highly advise you to watch this video too. By the way, I know people are going to ask, what app is this? I know, because people want to know. Uh, I'll leave a link also in the pinned comment and in the description in which I link to a video that I made about this app. This is a 100% legal app, so anyone is free to use it, and it is an app that I would highly recommend. Now, Undead Unlock. It's a very fun and cool uh, manga. Let me quickly scroll all the way up, because as you can see, I read <laughs> quite a bit already, but I'm gonna scroll up, 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 up. There we go. And uh, the art style, I really like the art style. It's, it's, it's a very cool, uh, art style in my opinion and the author is quite funny as well in my opinion but you will have to uh, see that for yourself now as you can see there is a lot of uh stuff going on with the guy i'll eventually explain why or you know what maybe i shouldn't explain just figure that out for yourself that's way more fun anyway we, we see this girl right here and she uh re she, she's almost done with reading this manga and then she decides to uh, end it all basically um there's a reason for that basically this girl is very unfortunate um people who touch her uh and i'm not talking about like anything intimate just give her a handshake whatever um basically they are in great danger she is in she basically gives um un, like she makes people very unlucky if they touch her uh so she, it kind of feels like she's cursed in this case and then this guy just steps in and you know so yeah he he wants to we're not really sure what he's trying to do. It seems like he wants to save her. Um, but, but as you can see here, that's not really the case. And this guy basically touches her. And she says, well, my unluck, you know, you're, you, this is bad. You're going to you're gonna have a bad time, right? And then he falls and basically the train crushes him. But it turns out that this guy is undead. He's a zombie or sort of like a zombie, I guess. So they're basically like a match made in heaven, these two. Because no matter what she does... He can't really die because he is a zombie. He's undead. And so even though she might be incredibly, she, like she's cursed or however you want to call it, uh, it doesn't really matter because he can't die. Uh, so they're basically a match made in heaven. And, um, well, in this case, uh, he, this guy wants to die. He's undead. He's been undead for a long time, as you can imagine. That's the whole point of being undead. And he wants to die. So he's like, okay, you know, you can do this for me. You can actually off me in this case. And um, while this is going on, why he's trying his best to make her uh, curse, you know, um, affect him or however you want to say it, um, he, uh, he basically figures out that this girl doesn't really want to off herself, but she's, she doesn't really see any other option. For example, when her parents touched her, uh, just a hug in this case, they actually passed away afterwards, uh, from a plane crash and it's all because of her. So basically she's incredibly unlucky. She's cursed. And that's the basic premise of this story, but there is more going on. It sounds very, very mild the way that I explain it, but eventually uh, these huge organizations uh, start mixing in with these two because the undead guy uh, uh, is actually part of this bigger organization and he has a lot of enemies and she's eventually caught up in it as well. Uh, but she's, she supports him and she protects him and she uses her curse to you know to to fight which sounds kind of weird because all she has to do is touch someone and they're basically screwed but it's 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 very fun and as you can see here too she has very long hair at first in the first chapter because she can't have it cut no one can cut it for her because if they would touch her hair you know that's a problem in this case but he cuts it for her uh which which in my opinion is actually quite a shame um but hey that's me uh but yeah so um, that's kind of the basic premise. And as you can see here, this guy can die, but there's an organization and this guy with the scar is part of that. And you will have to figure the rest out for yourself, but it's definitely a fun read. And, um, there's a lot to read as well. There are many volumes out. Um, if you, if I go to my library here, there are in this case already 11 volumes out and it's still releasing. There's more coming. So, uh, there's plenty to read for you in this case. Undead Unlock. Check it out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I will leave a link to both Blue Period and what the app is in the description and in the pinned comment. Check that out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to click on the like button. And if you have a friend or friends that might enjoy this video, do me a favor and share it with your friends. I will also leave, and that's the final thing I'll say, a 
link to my Telegram channel in the description and also in the pinned comment because I share free stuff, free anime, free manga and all that kind of stuff daily with you guys. So I would highly recommend you to take a look at that as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I was Rosafi, you were you, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.